I think like Kavisha <laughs> did her best today. Like proudly, her bowling is something that is still more of a work in progress. And bowling the twentieth over against two powerful batters like Jemima and Deepthi isn't all that easy. But it's impressive that she did take on the responsibility to bowl that over. Firstly. and secondly like i think she did really well with the bat today because she had a really tough time in the t20i series against pakistan i think she scored seven runs in three matches so it shows she played a lot better in the odis but the impressive thing about kavisha is that she has all the shots she's good on the front foot she's good on the back foot can score both sides of the wicket and she was also like she got into the game early today because she was batting at number 4 in the pakistan series she wasn't always batting that high up So I think she's definitely somebody who Sri Lanka should always bat in the top four, and who has that ability to anchor the innings. And I think by the time she'd gotten in the asking rate, it pretty much gotten out of hand, and she tried her best, hit quite a few boundaries in the last six overs. So I don't think like there was any issues in terms of her approach today, and she's probably the biggest positive for Sri Lanka from the batting side of things in the last month or so. Anisha, I guess you had an opinion or two about this as well, so you can go away. Sure. Uh, I mean, we've seen somebody like an Amelia Kerr rise the batting order in the New Zealand side. Something similar is happening here with uh, Kavisha Dilhari as well. And credit to her, she looks to have put in the hard yards uh, um, in the off season. Has really worked on her batting because uh, when she got those few opportunities uh, in the early part of her innings. She was impressed, but right now she looks a more compact batter than she was maybe a year or so ago. She went through a bit of a, a you know, a, an up and down phase, bit of because of a bit of uh, of a few injuries she faced. But uh, right now she looks a more confident batter. And of course, when you are dropped twice, that doesn't really help the opposition. It helps your confidence big time. So that those two reprieves she got also. uh did a lot of good to her but credit to her that she dug her heels in what i particularly liked about her is she made sure she remained not out and something i remember uh you know from mithali raj's career which so many of the youngsters in today's day and age especially so much premium is put on the shortest format and scoring those big runs quick runs is if you make an endeavor to remain not out in matches like these and scenarios like these it helps establish your credentials and it helps establish you uh, in front of you know your your uh, uh, before your fellow players the uh, think tank that you have the caliber you have the capability to play the anchor role uh, should the correct opportunity arise and should there be more uh, support available you can even take the team over the line so i liked that aspect uh, about Kavisha Dilhari's innings today really well. That she decided to uh, play out the entire innings ended uh, on 47 or 49 unbeaten. So uh, that was a really big positive to come out of that innings uh, from Kavisha Dilhari today. 